Locomotives and carriages out of the place they've called home for years. On Monday, the line they need may be closed for all rail movements, and the Lachlan Valley Rail Society's museum at Cowra will be isolated from the world. The line is one of several being shut down by the state government, supposedly because they're not safe. The closures spell disaster, not only for the museum, they guarantee an awful lot of grain movements from the affected areas will be carried by rail. Jeff Sims reports from Cowra. In April of 1881, approval was given by the New South Wales Government for the construction of the Blaney to Murrumburra Railway. The line connects the main west line at Blaney with the main south line at Demondrill and passes through the towns of Cowra and Young. The section between Demondrill and Young opened on the 26th of March 1885. The next section, from Young to Cowra on the west side of the Lachlan River, saw the first government operated train on the 2nd of November 1886. However, the contractor operated trains from May 1886. The bridge over the river was tested on the 25th of August 1887. The line opened to the current station, Forwith. The final section, from Cowra to Blaney, opened in August 1887. The section from Blaney to Carroll was closed in late 1999 after a bridge near Holmwood burned down, but the line reopened in April 2000. Finally, between 2007 and 2009, the line was progressively suspended from service due to declining freight volumes, high maintenance costs and safety concerns. The councils of Blaney, Cara, Wedden, Harden and Young have strongly supported the reopening of the Cara lines, which included the Blaney to Demondrel line, and a section of the Grenfell Line from Kurawatha to Greenthorpe. In mid-2013, Transport for New South Wales and the Blaney, Cara, Wedden, Harden and Young Councils signed a Memorandum of Understanding to develop a sustainable and integrated regional road and rail freight infrastructure model. A registration of interest process continued in late 2013, identified there was a market interest in the Cara Lines from suitably qualified and experienced private sector proponents. As a result, the New South Wales government moved to hold an open tender for the Carolines. On the 24th of March, 2014, the New South Wales government opened a request for tender process for the Carolines. The tender invited submissions from the private sector to restore, operate and maintain the Carolines on a community sustainable basis. The request for tenders process was closed on the 25th of July 2014. The tender process was completed in April of 2015. A comprehensive tender evaluation found that none of the proposals achieved adequately met the tender criteria. It concluded that there was too much uncertainty in the ability of the tenderers to return the lines to full service and run a commercially sustainable business without significant government support. The Lachlan Vale Railway LVR, which operates from its base in Carroll, could face an uncertain future if the line remains suspended from operation. Hello everyone, welcome to New South Wales Train Talks, and this is another episode of Banded Railways. This time it is on the Blaney Demondrill line, starting off at the station of Young. So here is the level crossing at Young. You can see there is two tracks. One track is only evident at the level crossing. It just vanishes, and the second one is better condition, but uh, yeah, I don't see a train going here anymore. So there's also another track, but this is only evident on the level crossing. It is absolutely just demolished further on. It's just been cut. The other track is better condition, but um, I can evidently see where um, one track going over to the other track. So yeah, over here it becomes way better condition and yeah, over here it's just hidden. So this is the platform at Young. So over here is the station building. The track's in way better condition over here. We need to restore this line. 
quickly as possible. So over here I'm on the outside of the platform and there's the sign of Young. We have a there's a nice park over there. Pretty cool. And this is the station building from the outside. Station building though, it's very cool. I am now at the next location, which is the station of Kurawatha. So, over there, you can see the platform, and over here is a platform, I guess. So, we can see remains of track there and here. I can see a really bent track over there. This piece of the line is just totally overgrown and it's gonna need a lot of work to get it back. Okay. Okay, I did not expect that. What are the chances? There is... Oh my god. So that is the goods platform, I think. And over there's the hump. So yeah, that's the goods platform. Nothing much remaining, but... What the... I am now at the next location, which is the station of Kaura. So, Kaura is home to the Lachlan Valley Railway, and there is a roundhouse that is pretty sure in that direction. So here's the sign of Kaura, and here's a dock platform for something. The tracks are definitely in better condition here. Um, the last train ran in 2009, which is quite recent. So the tracks, they're in decent condition. They're definitely not good condition. Here's the bathrooms and waiting room. If there is the end of the platform, there is. something lying on the tracks. Over here is a sign. It's the junction for the Gower line, which could have been the dock platform. Over here is a track just becomes overrun. Anyway, next location. I'm now coming up to the next location, which is the station of Woodstock. It took me about 20 minutes just to find this place. Before I just wanted to go to the station, so I went on the track, and the track was totally overgrown so we went back and just searched for like 20 minutes before finally finding this way so long so that is the sign for woodstock station bit odd in that it is placed on like the wrong way it's usually supposed to face forwards but this time it's not which is 
make it weird, but then again, you would still be able to see it if you were traveling. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what direction this is. Uh, suppose it's west. If you're traveling west, then you would be able to see it. But if you're coming from the other side, you just see an empty sign. But I'm also pretty sure that it wasn't originally placed here. Okay, kind of happy that I didn't go up the stairs. The place is totally overgrown. It's only been like 14 years since it closed. But a lot can happen in 14 years. A really, really, really lot. Anyway, let's just cross this thing. Over here is the end. There's like a tree that's just fallen down. And the track is just totally covered. You can't tell that this is a track. Have a crane over there. And there's a good platform further up. Other than the fact that it's covered with plants, it's not in horrible condition. But it is on the scale. Like, these, these gates are not in horrible condition, but, jeez. So we have a second track over there. And there's a level crossing further up where the second track branches off the first track. There's literally a tree that has grown here. It's only been 14 years since it closed and there is a huge tree growing here. What? I mean, it could have been here when the trains were still running, but still, I wouldn't imagine this tree being here when the trains were still running. Actually, it, it is quite possible since, yeah, it doesn't really block out that much, but if this really is like, well, whatever. Over there's the goods platform, which definitely is in a fair state of a decomposition. And even the path, which is quite new, I am told at least it's quite new, but even that path is covered. And this staircase, I'm now coming up to the next station, which is the station of Karkoa. So here's the entrance to the platform. And it is totally overgrown. Look at that. The state of the Blaney Demdra line is just totally appalling at this point. Never seen, never seen that font before. Looks like it was hand painted or something. 2005. That is old stuff. We have a seat that is facing the totally wrong direction, and it's also just, yeah. 
guess something used to grow in this pot, but now holding some weeds. Got something over there, portion, 20. And over there is sign. I have not seen this sign since Wingello. And I'm pretty sure the Wingello sign doesn't really look like that. But that's in good condition. Probably not original though. The station just goes on. And you can't really tell where the station starts and the the not station begins. It's just you can't tell. Over here is, I guess, another track for something or other. And yeah. Yeah, that's basically all there is of the station. And it's pretty hard to get here. Because the it's t just a gravel road to come here. So yeah. It's totally overgrown though. There is over here but yeah it's closed